All right. So, Cancers, hi, you guys. I'm here to do your reading. This is the Pretty Coach Oracles. This is Naeem Shakum, also Jude. And I'm going to hop right into this because I'm trying to make this a very fast reading. I'm trying to make it through most of the signs today and tomorrow. So, yeah, we're going fast today because I also want to keep this under about 15 minutes. We'll see what happens. So when I first pulled the original cards for this reading, I pulled three cards. OK, um, and I'm, this is about what's going on with you guys, Cancers. All the readings that I'm do doing so far are going to be from October 15th to the 20th. OK. That's the energy that I'm asking spirit about. So anyway, the first card that came up for you is the Queen of Swords, Cancer. OK, the Queen of Swords is a very quick witted, um, very quick minded um, and perceptive individual. Also, this could be a person who was recently single or abandoned by her husband or a spouse or a partner that she was with who was in a committee union. Or she could literally be a widow in the very basic sense of the word, like her husband could have passed. OK, um, this could also be someone who is a very great communicator, good with writing, speaking, and all that kind of stuff, okay? Or editing, things like that. So um, this could be an author. You could find out that you have writing capabilities and that you're really good at it, okay? Um, but when I asked Spirit to help me to clarify, well, what is the Queen of Swords energy here for? I got the chariot in reverse. And so one of the understandings for the chariot is usually forward movement. So one of the things that I heard was that maybe it's been hard for you to move on. If in fact you were, um, in a, I did get the Bob, this is going to be a relationship reading. I have to say that now you'll understand why as we get deeper into the reading, but moving on. Um, if you had made this decision to swiftly cut somebody out of your life, you made a quick decision, like you had to move on or whatever, you could have made that mentally. But for some reason, when it comes to your emotions, because this is also the cancer card, I want to say, um, with the chariot, you could have made that up mentally, but your heart or your spirit still has yet to move forward. That was one of the messages I got. But also, this card could also be about having control. It could also be about somebody's willpower to move forward, their fortitude to keep pressing on. And because this is reversed, this could come across as possibly the loss of control or that you are willingly putting control down, okay? Um, or it could also be that, you know, you could be losing willpower, don't know how that may resonate with you, but let me know in the comments. Also, um, please click like on this video and also subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I go live or post a video. Moving on, guys. Moving on. So the next card that came out of the deck, I mean, flew out of the deck for you guys, Cancer, is the Four of Wands energy. This is my 1111 card. This is my marriage or wedding bells or wedding re reception and celebration card, okay? So with it being my 1111 card, this is also about the 144,000 unions or so-called twin flame unions for me. So I wouldn't be surprised if this is one of those types of connections. But um, this is about grounds for celebration or um, something that was supposed to be a happy and jovial time. This is also my second card in the three card spread. So this is the energy to me that's affecting the energy. This is what's causing this Queen of Swords energy. This is what's causing while we made a quick mental decision in our heart, maybe, or in our spirit, we're not really able to move on like we want to cancer. I'm just saying just saying. So I asked Spirit to help me to clarify that energy. And this is what came out. All of these cards flew out of the deck. I have been asking for one card to clarify everything and one card to just give the messages. And still, I always obey when they give me more. So the first card that flew out of the deck was the tower card. So that tells me that something very tragic or something that totally shook the core of this relationship. There was an upheaval in this relationship, Cancer. I know I'm talking about. I know. It's all right. You ain't got to you don't got to tell me though. It's cool. It's it's fine. But if you do, just leave it in the comments though. Let me know. Uh there was an upheaval, okay? There was something that came out. There was some type of information that came forward that totally shattered the foundation of this union. And though some of you guys could have walked away thinking that it was totally over, I don't know, guys. I don't know if it's over, okay? Um this could have been the fact that this needed to be torn down so that it could be rebuilt, okay? But I'm just saying, there was a lot of toxic 
energy here. I feel like that's the reason that the tower even happened. There were some vices that the person had, or maybe that both partners had. Um, there were soul ties, maybe from previous unions, okay? There was control issues, manipulation issues, jealousy issues. Sex could have been bombed, or there could have been issues when it came to sex. Somebody could have had a vice for sex, could have been a sex addict. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, okay? I'm just saying the stuff that I hear spirits saying to me. Moving on. Uh, nevertheless, there were definitely some bondage-like issues. There were some things that maybe both parties or one party in the union was still held bound to that needed to be released, okay? And maybe at the time they didn't know how. So that could have been part of what played the role in the destruction of the union or what seemed to be the destruction of the union. I digress. The next two cards that came out of the deck that also flew out were the Eight of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. So for me, this makes me feel like some messages, very passionate, very fiery messages are going to be coming to you, Cancer. Um, you don't have to just be a Cancer. You could be the cross watcher. You can just have Cancer somewhere in your chart. This may apply to you. But the point that I'm trying to make is that some type of messages are getting ready to come in, you guys, and they're going to be talking about they want to be with you. They want to cooperate with you or they want you to cooperate with them. They want to build with you. They want to work with you. Moving on. And that's coming quickly. That's coming quick. The last and final card that came out that makes me know that I know that spirit is on point with this and that this is true, the Knight of Cups came in, okay? And the Knight of Cups is about a smooth talker, a player type, and it doesn't have to be a player. It could just be somebody who is very much in tune with their emotions and they're not afraid to share them. But in the process of them not being afraid to share their emotions, they kind of could be all over the place sometimes, um, still not sure how to be balanced with those things. However, this person is coming in offering some type of um, cup. Okay. They're offering their heart with this horse's head down. I feel like it's really taking them a lot to come forward and to say something. And I do feel like they could very well be apologetic. Okay. But they're going to be coming in quick. That's all I got to say. So just as fast as nights come in, sometimes they can leave just as quickly. Okay. But this is somebody who does have feelings. They do come and they're going to be talking about either how they feel or the way that they feel that they made you feel. Or about everybody feelings in this whole connection, the way that they made you feel, the way that you made them feel, all of that. And they could be coming with an apology, okay? Um, when I ask Spirit to clarify what's going on here, first card that flew out of the deck was the Strength card. So like I said, I feel that somebody is going through this period, like they're going to have, they have, they have had this time to themselves where they've leveled up and they're really trying to work on taming their carnal self, taming their animalistic nature, and they're trying to evolve and move up spiritually. This could be Leo and Virgo energy, okay? Um, Knight of Cups energy is Cancer, Scorpio, or Piscean energy. They could have Leo somewhere in their chart, Virgo somewhere in their chart, okay? Or you can, guys, all right? But this is definitely about a past situation okay somebody was thinking about this and I do feel like it's this person who's going to be communicating with you soon about their feelings about the way that they feel how they made you feel all of that eight of wands passionate communication so they're coming in talking about these feelings and it's because they've been reminiscing now don't get me wrong we are in work we are in mercury retrograde and if I'm not mistaken, Mercury is also in Scorpio, which is, I, I feel like that's the reason why a lot of us have been having these emotional last thoughts, okay? And even the way that we've been communicating, it's been emotional, okay? So I guess that's, you know, I'm just saying. Somebody is going to come and they're really reminiscent about the connection that you guys had, okay? Now, I'm not saying that you go be with the person. I'm not telling y'all nothing. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying what spirit gave me. I'm reading the energy of the cards. That's all. Um, I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm just gonna read. I'm gonna just give y'all the messages and I'll move on by my business, okay? But the Six of Cups is definitely past energy. And you know what? Both of you guys could be reflecting on this. Both of you guys could be thinking about the good times that y'all had. Y'all could have made each other feel like kids. You could have actually known each other since you guys were children. But if not, you guys had like a childlike friendship or camaraderie with you, you know? There was something childlike, something innocent. That's what I want to say. Something very innocent and real and raw and authentic about your connection. And that's what somebody is, baby, they missing it. They like, uh-uh, uh-uh, I need this back. 
Okay, and the last card that flew out of the deck was the Nine of Pentacles. And the vibe that I got from this, not to say that it's not going to mean what I normally feel that this means. This means somebody who gets to themselves and they really focus on their resources, really focus on their money. Okay, they could be saving what they work for or whatever the case may be. This is about bossing up when it comes to finances. But even more than that, when it comes to feelings, this is about self-care. This is about taking care of self. And I feel like I get the vibe that this person had to go and do that. Like, this is where maybe even the strength card comes from because they did have this time where they have had to go and deal with themselves and reflect on themselves. And they've had to really look at some of the shit that they put you through, some of the things they did because of their toxic behaviors. And I feel like they have dealt with self, I feel that they have dealt with themselves according to self-love, okay? And that they want to, they're in this energy. They're loving themselves, and now they also want to offer the same love back to somebody who they also feel like love them. Moving on, okay? Moving on. If it's not that, they definitely took the time to boss up. They definitely took the time to get their finances and their situation in order, okay? This is uh, the overall energy for the main uh, set of cards that we pulled today is the King of Swords energy. So even though this Knight of Cups could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio very prevalent in their chart, they also could have a lot of air in their chart with Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy with the King of Swords here. But if it's not that, it's like they have made up their mind about coming back to you and coming and pouring out their heart to you. And honey, they're going to do it at all costs. And they are emotionally balanced. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Their, their mental is together, their logic is together, but they're also emotionally balanced. And I know that that's right. I thought I made an error, but that's still right because the clarifying cards that I used, guess who's at the bottom of that deck? King of Cups. So it's looking like we got a person who has thought about the shit. We have a person who is, they mind is right now. And we have a person who is in touch and not only in touch with their emotions, but in control because we go from a Knight of Cups to a King of Cups here. So without further ado, Cancer, I hope and pray, honey, that uh, something that was said resonated with you. I'll put um, links to my store so that you guys can support in that way if you'd like in the description box. I'm going to put my cash app in the description box if you'd like to donate to my channel in that way. And I am also going to put my website where you'd like to, if you'd like to book a personal reading for yourself, um, I'm going to put that in the website. I mean, oh Lord, I'm going to put that in the description box below as well. I love you guys with the love of the most high cancer. Be blessed. I love y'all. Try not to panic. Try not to figure this out too much. I'll let it unfold naturally. Naturally. All right. Without further ado. Peace.